There are conspiracy theories swirling as to how this fire was started. We're talking about like the the broader context of the inequality and the history of colonialism in Maui itself, in the in Hawaii, and as a whole. Um, but there are a lot of theories moving around because there have to be because somehow it can't just be that there was a hurricane and a downed power line started a massive wildfire. Which, let me tell you, it definitely can be that because in California, while we don't have hurricanes, it's a lot of downed power lines and a lot of neglect from corporations like PG&E. Um, so. Don't get me wrong, I feel it, but but here is an interesting, and I want to get your take and everyone's take on this because it's an interesting twist on this idea that no, this fire didn't start organically. Someone must have started it for a certain aim. Take a look. People online are speculating the fires were deliberately started by the government. The majority of the properties damaged by the fires were highly sought after real estate locations that are estimated to be worth billions of dollars. Theories are spreading online alleging that the fires started far too suddenly and burned too harshly to be attributed to a regular wildfire. Videos are circulating of what looks like a last strike coming from space directly onto a house. Okay, so there's a, 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 I don't know if Marge had anything to do with this, but apparently there's a space laser who knows if the Rothschilds created it. But there's a video, I guess, that's been circulating of something just beaming down and hitting a, 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 a there is no way to verify any of this stuff. But what we do know is again, when you have neglected infrastructure combined with a hurricane, and or you know a, a massive drought, which Maui's been undergoing, a wildfire is not completely out of the question. Um, the part of that conspiracy theory video that does ring true, and I think this is what's messed up about conspiracy theories, is I think what you were mentioning earlier, Ravana, which is like this is valuable property, and if and who is going to rebuild, right? Where is the hundred million dollars that the Bezoses are contributing? Where is that going to go to? Is that going to be like you know a million per resident, or one of five hundred thousand to rebuild their homes? Who knows, right? My guess is it will not go directly to those folks. And my guess is all the corporations have been wanting to, and all the you know hotel chains have been wanting to move in, and other you know franchises have wanted to move in, will probably get their wish finally. Right, and I think that of course that lends to I don't even I don't want to call them nut jobs, but conspiracy theorists to think of course I mean I mean God that video of the last strike is so absolutely absurd people will believe anything they see on the internet. Um, I think it's more what we see all the time corporations taking advantage of a tragedy and that's what we're going to see. So you know I implore people who want to help out who want to donate to relief efforts to be careful to what organizations you're giving to you know to look into how the funds are going to be distributed and make sure that you're not you know giving to an organization that's just going to funnel a bunch of money. Into you know large corporate uh, you know developers trying to use this land to further you know tourism, which again, as I highlighted, the indigenous activists, the Native Hawaiian activists, have been saying they really <laughs> don't want to see. They are literally just saying, stop coming to Hawaii, please stop traveling to Hawaii. So just keep an eye out. If I know people, out of the goodness of their own hearts, really want to help, be mindful of where that money is going. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's pivot a little bit because they're uh, obviously Republicans have to capitalize on the Maui wildfire and not in a good way, not in a relief effort fundraising way, um, not taking climate change seriously way, not taking tourism uh, in Hawaii seriously way. Are they listening to those native Hawaiians? No, they're using this as an effort to take digs and shots at President Joe Biden. So here is Lauren Boebert tweeting, there's a total crisis in Maui, 3,000 destroyed homes, 80 people dead. Where's Joe Biden? On vacation, of course. There's no bottom for this president. The least he could do is throw a roll of bounty at the people in the water trying to escape the fire, like any good president. Um, but here is a side by side that another right winger posted blue check mark, very key indicator saying Biden was vacationing on a beach in Delaware today. Meanwhile, Maui has been completely destroyed by fires. 93 people have died and thousands have lost their homes. Yet Biden refused to give up his vacation and go to visit Maui residents in their time of need. Well, okay, a couple things. One, that is Biden, he is on vacation, He he does that a lot. In the summer, on the weekends, you know, um, 
one can remember when another president golfed a whole hell of a lot. But we've just been talking about how Hawaiians are like, please don't come. <laughs> so I'm sure having to field a massive like the the convoy of Biden and his secret service team at a time when they're literally like trying to get any survivors or people or remains human remains from the rubble probably not the time to go right now ray i don't know what your thoughts on this i'll get into yeah. what biden did do yeah i mean that's exactly it right he would just be in the way also the idea that he should have anticipated this was going to happen and i hate having to constantly defend biden but the idea that he should have anticipated this was going to happen and not have been on vacation when it happened i think is really silly and yeah you know he deployed fema and that was the right response he being there he's not going to be able to <laughs> to rebuild these houses he's too old to be searching through the 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 rubble and yeah. when it comes when the president goes anywhere you know they have to be very careful about who's around him he has to fly air force 1 there not really a good place for him to be doing that now um really he would just be in the way it would probably be the worst thing he could do to go yes. there personally as opposed to deploy the people who are going to be able to actually help start rebuild start you know continuing the search to find people who are still missing yeah, and and the president has said that he is looking into a trip there. Of course, he will go there. Uh, the governor of Hawaii, Josh Green, said that he's received lots of support, specifically from this administration. And Biden did have a statement uh, last Thursday, um, basically when these fires broke out, saying, "I want to say a word about the devastating wildfires that have claimed at least 36 lives." And that was again, you know, half a week ago. We have just approved a major disaster declaration for Hawaii, which will get aid into the hands of people desperately needing help now. They've lost anyone who's lost a loved one whose home has been damaged or destroyed is going to get help immediately. And I think, you know, final thoughts on this is aid is important. Rebuilding justly is even more crucial for the people of Maui. So that aid needs to continue, needs to help people rebuild their homes where they were, homes and businesses. And this cannot be aid that is going to people who don't need it. We've seen that happen. Hello, PPP loans. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.